Hello YouTube and welcome to this edition of Race Car Fabrication and Restoration. This is episode number 40 and as promised, we're going to try to get a little primer shot on this car this weekend. Uh, buddy has been working hard on it today and uh, we're going to kind of show a little footage of some of the sanding he's doing. Plus we'll get him to explain to us some of the work and the process that he goes through. But right now he's getting all the oil, he's off the body, he's uh, cleaning it, hand cleaning it and uh, to get all the oil residue off. And then uh, we'll start trying to tape it up uh, there shortly. So uh, hang with me. We'll be right back with you, and we'll try to learn more about this process. Okay, Buddy has already done some sanding on the car. And uh, Buddy, that was a, what you call the DA? D8? D8? DA. DA. Okay, Orville DA. And we're actually going to be a little backwards on the video. We'll show that here in just a second. But what he's doing now, he's just taking regular Ajax. And this is pretty much to move any type of oil residue from touching it with your hands and just giving it a good bath. And then, buddy, now what will you do next after this? Uh, we'll, we'll wash the car with soap and water and let it dry. And then we will tape it up and spray the primer on it. Okay, and like I say, now, now he's used, gonna use some white primer. He said it's uh, uh, that'll help with our final color, which I haven't told you yet what our final color is going to be. I know, but that's kind of all top secret. But uh, but this is kind of a, a calm before the storm here, but this is a lot of labor. We're going to roll it back into the shop here in a minute to uh, start taping it up. Now, he decided to go ahead and pull the plastic off. So this is the first time you can see what the plastic looks, or the aluminum looks like without the plastic on it and uh, looks pretty good um he was afraid that the water might uh kind of screw up the plastic so we decided to go ahead and pull it off but uh anyway doing a little little loving a little rubbing here on it and uh, still see the old 55 but anyway we'll keep on uh trucking here i'm gonna go ahead and start trying to see if i can figure out how to make some rear spoiler, a uh, rear spoiler piece for it. We're gonna probably put in two different pieces. And I've kinda, kinda got an idea how I think I'm gonna do it. But uh, we'll come back here and check on him in just a minute. And we'll be right back with you. Welcome back YouTube. And as you can see, we are sanding on the car and trying to get it ready for some primer. And we moved it outside because it makes so much dust inside the shop. Got a lot of work to do. I'm not sure if we'll be able to get the primer on it this weekend we're going to try but it's a lot of sanding still got to take place so we'll check back with you here in just a little bit okay welcome back youtube and like buddy was saying this is probably the first time this car has had a bath in 40 years probably but he's got it all scratched up now we're just waiting for it to dry we'll be able to put some uh tape on it roll it back in the shop we'll start taping it up i went in and started playing with the spoiler and uh you really can't see i just grabbed some scrap aluminum but uh i think what we're gonna do is um uh, kind of give you an idea kind of what's gonna look like but uh just play i'm i'm gonna play we're gonna go with a black spoiler probably actually i'm gonna go ahead and mount this just for fun of it on one side and uh see what it looks like if I have to pop a hole in Buddy's and there's some fine body work we'll just put like three rivets in there across the back of it so anyway sit tight and we'll be right back with you uh Ryan is hoping to be able to get his car on the ground he thinks he's uh possibly ready to to roll it or drive it actually so he's in here playing with tires but uh like I was telling you uh, last episode he finally got his shocks in I don't know if they were worth seven weeks or not, but there they are. But you can see that. So um, we should be good to go on this car. Uh, he's made his shifter linkages and uh, uh, done a lot of stuff. <laughs> but I mean, it's just been rebuilt the car essentially everywhere, but it's got all his pump and everything all mounted, ready to go. So anyway, 
Uh, we're gonna let this car dry. I'm gonna mount this uh, rear spoiler and we'll see kind of what that looks like. And then we'll roll this thing here and start, start trying to taper up. So sit tight and we'll be right back with you. Welcome back YouTube. And as you can see, I fabricated just a temporary spoiler to kind of give an idea on what I want it to look like. We got a four inch uh, wicker bill here. I've got three inches down. I want it to come down to this trim piece on the back of the, uh, base of the deck lid, basically the natural mold piece. So we're just going to pop a couple. Buddy's done all this body work. Now I'm going to drill a hole in it. And we're just going to try it with Clecos. <laughs> Okay, good. Since we pulled all the Clecos out of the hood, we have about two million Clecos left now. That ain't very tight, but hopefully I'll swap sides with you. I'm gonna show y'all a speed secret a lot of y'all don't know. The reason these front running NASCAR teams like uh, Gibbs and uh, Hendrick and all those guys, the reason they're so fast is they use a stool to hold their body work up. See, we've got a regular bar stool. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna look at this. I may not like it, I don't know. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna flip this camera around so you can see it. You can tell me what you think. Okay, Buddy and I were just talking here. Um, show them what we're talking about there, Buddy. Once we bolt it up tight, it'll close that gap. Now, the question is, it's not much spoiler, but like Buddy was saying back in the day, they didn't run much spoiler. And uh, we'll just have to, I'm, I may actually make that, that's actually four inches there. I may actually bring up to maybe five, or you think four is okay? What do you the think? The most we ever run back then was six, and we didn't run six in a lot of places. So. So that's, I mean, it looks a lot better than what they had. They they had made a piece on it originally. It came up in, and went back that way. And that's where all these holes he had to fix. Uh, so uh, anyway, we'll think on that. We're just gonna, that was just, that's all I want to do is just try it and see. And we will, uh, we may, I may add one more inch. That's, I may just, yeah. just, I think one more inch will help them. We tie it, tighten it up. That'll make that extra inch will help. So, okay. Anyway, that's where we're at. We'll keep on going here. And this thing's about dried off, about ready to get it in the shop to, to, uh, start trying to tape it up some. So, uh, we'll be right back with you. Okay. We decided we're going to go ahead and blow all this air off because that's going to really hurt us. We start trying to tape the car up. And uh, we're going to try to see if we get some of this moisture out of here. Uh, Buddy's afraid whenever we start trying to tape it that we got enough moisture where we need to tape the stick. It may not stay. So uh, we'll see what we got up in here. But uh, go ahead and get this thing blowed off. It's amazing how fast it dried. And I tell you what's amazing is the scotch bright. That thing is smooth as a baby's bottom now. It's really amazing. Buddy's been doing this body work for a long, long time. That's a pretty neat little trick. So uh, you can see where the water's running down there now. We'll have to wait for that to dry. Okay. Anyway, step by step. Be right back with you. Welcome back, YouTube. We decided to wait until tomorrow after church to start taping the car up. Um, the moisture all up under the fender wells... And like I was saying earlier, around the window trim, uh, if there's any type of moisture there, uh, it will not let the tape stick as well. And then the other thing is, you see right here, there's actually moisture around this. And as soon as the paint gun starts hitting those areas, it'll blow 
it'll blow the moisture out and it gets in your paint. So the best thing is just let everything sit and just let it air dry. And it's just amazing how much um, moisture will actually come out of there when you hit it with the air. So we're gonna let it air dry tonight and we'll come here tomorrow after church and we'll start taping it up. And we we'll, uh, should be able to get a coat of primer on hopefully tomorrow. That's our goal, that'll be Sunday afternoon. So. Uh, Buddy's been working on it all day today. It's just a slow process, but once we get it primer, it'll go a lot faster then. Um, Ryan finally has his car on the scales. He's going to scale it out tomorrow after church. And just looking at it, we can tell it's way high in the left rear, though he hasn't set any ride heights yet or anything. So, so close to getting that ready. Um, our nephew, Ryan's first cousin, and my nephew, Trent Humphrey, will be on the track tonight at Boot Hill Speedway for our first night out in one of the Modifieds this year. And I'm going to try to catch a little footage of that for you tonight. Uh, we actually have the ability to watch the races live, so hopefully we will catch a little footage of that for you tonight. It'll be kind of an extra bonus I wasn't even aware of. So uh, they ran into a little trouble. They was going to go practice last night at the track, and when they went to crank up, um, they didn't have any fuel pressure. They ended up pulling the fuel pump off and found that the uh, there's a brass tip on the very end of the fuel pump rod. I have never seen one come off. But this is a pretty much brand new motor, but the brass tip had come off the end of the fuel pump rod. So you come out <laughs> nervous, but they were able to fish out the brass piece and on the tip and uh, get a new fuel pump rod put in. So that was a major deal, uh, just some type of defect. And uh, usually there was a chrome molly lightweight uh, fuel pump rods we use. So uh, thank God he's able to get that out. So we didn't get to practice last night, but they got been working on that all day over at his shop. And he's going to try to make it out to Boot Hill Speedway here in Greenwood, Louisiana tonight. So hopefully we'll get a little footage of that for you tonight as well. So, okay, we'll hang in there, and uh, we will be right back with you. And uh, – then we'll see, hopefully get a little racing here in a little bit. And if not, we'll be back tomorrow for the, uh, hopefully get some tape and and some white primer on this uh, Nova. So we'll be right back with you. Hang in there. But Buddy's working on the car. Uh, I'm kind of late getting out of here. Uh, church, Got went to church there and then uh, went to visit my mom. She's in a nursing home. But Buddy's starting to tape things up. And uh, he's got the back glass done. And uh, I told him, I said, I'll try to help, but I'm not an expert. You see how neat, how good a job he does. It just really makes a nice, neat line. And uh, I like the way he does this. He does this double tape, so now that gives you something to stick the plastic to. So uh, we had a late night last night. And I'm going to show you here a little bit of video here in a second. Uh, made our first outing of the 2021 racing season. And uh, my nephew, Trent Humphrey, runs one of the Modifieds in the 515 car. He dominated by winning the heat race and winning the feature. He took the lead on the first lap of the feature and led every lap. So we'll show you a little bit of video, video of that here in a minute. So bear with me, and we will be right back with you. And I'm going to do a little tire swapping around while Buddy's doing some paint prep. And uh, we'll be right back with you. Flag will be at the ABC Auto Parts flag stand this time. Your race leader, Trent Humphrey, will ride in the three and four checkered flag, waving your race winner, Trent Humphrey, in the 515. 27 of Mike Washburn will come home second. Vance Coleman will be third in the 75. In the fourth spot will be Jacob Toomey in the T11 and Alan Poindexter in the 4-0. Milton Braun in between himself and the second place car, Mike Washburn, as they roll down the back straightaway and in the three and four. Two laps remaining in the Pro Mod feature. Two laps to go for Trent Humphrey. Heavy lap traffic still awaits him in one and two. That's the 09 of Trevor Keith on the top. Humphrey will squeeze by him. Set his sights on Dakota Tut in three and four. White flag will come out this time. Mike Washburn's going to have to make one more push at it. Here comes Humphrey down into one and two. The white flag is in the air. There's one lap remaining. Out of two and down the back straightaway. He's going to put Tut in between himself and the second place car of Washburn. 
Humphrey in the three and four and out of four to take the checkered flag. Your winner, Trent Humphrey in the 515. 27 of Mike Washburn comes home second. Third will go to Doug Pink Jr. In fourth, it'll be Jason Beasley and Mike Morris will round out the top five. Okay, welcome back YouTube and Buddy is doing his magic here on taping the car off. And uh, we're trying to beat some rain. They're forecasting five to seven inches of rain in the next few days. So we want to get this first coat of primer on it. And um, once we get the first coat of primer, it'll be a little bit easier. I still got to pull that exhaust out, but uh, Anyway, we're getting close. We're gonna have some color on here in a little bit, at least some primer. Hmm. That is so cool how Buddy does that. He puts that tape on the back side. Now all you gotta show him is just that, just that body lip. Welcome back YouTube and we are fighting the weather and we've got a really bad forecast coming this week with five or six inches of rain forecasted and with rain every day this week. You can see here what the skies look like. So we put all the wheels back on the car, rolled around over here, moved my truck and trailer, dropped all that so we can leave it up under this covered area. But uh, we are ready to start trying to mix the primer up and I don't know how far we're gonna get along but um, we will uh, see what we can get done here and get this uh, thing, see if we can get some primer on it and get it sanded. So we'll probably just leave the car here until it is actually uh, painted completely. So I hate to leave my truck and trailer in the weather, but it's just going to sit out there for a little bit. So sit tight. We'll be right back with you. Okay, buddy's using this secret stuff right here. Wax and grease remover. So he's making the last minute rub down and where we touched it a while ago and just any dirt or grimes got on it, he's re removing all that and then uh is there anything else you gotta do buddy no okay this will be it so so y'all say bye to it for being orange and get this thing wiped down and we will try to get some primer on here, get that mixed up. Well, welcome back to YouTube. And as you can see, Buddy is applying the primer coat to the uh, car. Uh, got a little chemical experiment going on over here, but I appreciate you guys joining us this week and you're gonna have to tune in next week to see what it looks like. So thanks again for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do so and uh, hit that like button and tell your friends about us. But we'll see you next time on Race Car Fabrication and Restoration. Take care.